Hey everyone, John here again with another Monster of the Video. Actually, I actually haven't made a Monster of the Video on our channel in a little bit. It's been a while. So I wanted to actually bring this video to you guys. Uh, it's basically all the monsters that have not been yet confirmed, at least to my knowledge, that I would like to see in Monster of the World. Also, none of these monsters are going to be Elder Dragons. That's a list for another video. And I'm going to try to avoid any monsters that I've already mentioned in my top 5 favorite monsters of all time list. Those monsters, obviously, I want to see in the world. So, Rathleos, you know, Rajong, all the stuff in the video that I talked about before. I want to see them all in the world already. So, I mean, I'm making this other video that I want to see, you know, these monsters that, in my opinion, haven't gotten at that, much, at that much attention that I want to see them get. <laughs> The Angara. Back in the Freedom Unite days, there was this monster called the Kutkut. -Kut. It was a really good starting monster. It wasn't too challenging. It wasn't too easy. It, kind of, it was a nice balance of teaching kids, you know, how to fight these monsters. It also gave a good idea of how the hitboxes work in that generation. But that's a story for another day. Later on in the game, however, you would meet this monster called the Yangara, which is essentially a fusion between the Raytheon and the Kudkut. It's like if they had a baby, which is disgusting when you think about it, because they're both just, they just don't look compatible. But anyway, this monster was actually just design wise, is really, really cool. And at the time of me fighting against this thing, I had absolutely nothing that I really needed to fight this thing. It brings uh, abilities and attacks from both its parents. So it'd have like the Kudkut's. Fireballs just a little different and also have the Raytheon's tail slam Just a little different though So if it even hit you with the tail while it's turning you get poisoned and at the time of the story of the game when I would fight this thing I would have at most green sharpness and you'd be bouncing off this thing like crazy and You'd still be able to cut stuff off. It wasn't that hard, but it still was a pain in the butt and I feel like this monster would be a fun little addition to world one, because <clears throat> you wouldn't necessarily need to bring the Kudku back because there's already this other monster that looks like a giant bird of the rock. There you go. But this thing would still be able to bring something from the old days back and I actually just miss fighting it. Plus, I like, this, I like its purple armor and I just like the idea of two monsters making a really gross abomination of a baby. <laughs> Number four, the Blango. Or Blango? Blango? I, I, I can never pronounce this thing. So, for those of you that have watched a lot of my videos where I'm talking about different animals and stuff, you probably know that I have a thing for monkeys. Now that I read this out loud, it sounds just strange. But anyway, the Blango is one of those cool snow baboons. Its moves consist of it jumping around, punching you, kicking you with its back legs. It also has a giant clothesline attack. It also throws snowballs at you. And I guess also, I, I can't remember, remember, but I believe it also breathes ice at you too. Like ice breath. And I just really want to see this thing like just jumping around in a world. Like it, it, when it goes into the, uh, the ice area, I want to see it just jumping around, climbing stuff like an actual baboon. Because we never really got that much from this guy in the uh, Freedom Unite days back when I played it uh, on the PSP. And I want to see it being able to climb on mountains, trees, and the snow places, and just jumping around like a you know freaking monkey. And I want to see, and I really want to see that. I feel like it'd be really interesting to see monkeys jumping around the trees, and it just I feel like it would help with a new fighting style of the game. And I don't really see things jumping around all that much, except for maybe. Narukuga and a few other fast monsters, but they don't really jump into the trees though. That's what I want to see, just jumping around the trees, jumping on giant rocks, jumping around, flipping around, and stuff like that. Alright, I'm taking another take of that. Blah. Need more water. <clears throat> the Blango. Blongo? It's it's a giant baboon. The Devil Joe. Honestly, this is like a favorite, and I'm pretty sure it's I'm pretty sure it's gonna be in world, to be honest. But honestly, I just wanna see Devil Joe interact with the other monsters with this new monster hierarchy system in place. So you know how monsters will go after each other in world now? I wanna see Devil Joe in this because essentially he'd be going around trying to eat everything, because that's kind of his thing. 
So, usually in other games, if you kill, say, a Rathios, the Devil Joe would come in to start eating its corpse. Uh, I want to see the Devil Joe go actually after the Rathios and try to actually eat him. And I think that'd be just really entertaining and cool to watch. Obviously, the Devil Joe's probably not going to show up until, like, later missions, because the Devil Joe's always a high-tier monster. But I still really want to see that happen. I want to see you running around in multiple different environments, because the Devil Joe can survive in... Pretty much any, any weather, or just snow, lava, forests, deserts, it, it, it's, ev it's everywhere, it's fucking insane. And I think that this thing would be just entertaining to watch fight other monsters, and just kind of a new thing to deal with, because we never really see it fight other monsters other, other than when their Denny eats them, but yeah, just the, literally the reason he's on this list is because I want to see him interact with this new system in place. <laughs> The Akantor, I can never say this thing's name correct, Akantor, Akintor. This thing. So as I write this script right now, I constantly need to alt-tab out of my script to go look on Wikipedia to make sure this thing isn't an Elder Dragon, to stay in the realms of my rules that I set for myself for this uh, video. But, uh, you know, I, I check every once in a while and it, it keeps saying something like this. It's, 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 it's a flying wyron. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Why? Capcom, does this look like a flying? It doesn't have any. It doesn't have wings. How the fuck is this thing? Fl Whatever. So let me just start by saying I completely forgot to put this guy on my top favorite, favorite monsters list. Uh, I did that video a while ago, and I completely forgot about him for some reason. He'd probably be number five if I can redo that video, honestly. But he's just a huge monster. When me and my friends first started fighting him, we had no idea how to fight this guy because all the attacks mostly covered the area we're in and good luck cutting off his fucking tail it's massive honestly i really don't see this guy being in world mostly because he's too big and if they were to put him in world he'd probably be have his own little he probably have his own little arena area like in the other games but i still want him to be in there i kind of i, I want to see him just chasing hunters down and just breaking all the trees around him and just you know breaking everything fighting other monsters and i feel like it'd just be really interesting to watch him and just fight him as well. I also just want his armor back because his armor was just amazing to me. It was one of my favorites back in the day. Honestly, that's, that's mainly the reason why he's on this list because I completely forgot to put him in my top 10 Monster Hunters, uh, Monsters in Monster Hunter video. And uh, I kind of feel bad about it. And I really want to see him in the world just because he's one of my old favorites. So, yeah. <laughs> Number one, Peslioth. Wait, 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 don't, 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 don't hate me. Don't, I know, I know. Fuck this monster. A lot of people in the community hate this monster. But, why do you hate this monster? Because of its fucking hitbox. His fucking shitty goddamn hitbox that everyone hates. Now. In a world, they corrected the hitboxes for the most part. As far as I can tell, they're really good now. So, now that his biggest problem is taken away, we can all get our revenge on this piece of shit. I really want to kill this guy in a beautiful HD game and beautiful world with weapons that we can shoot from very far away and not get near him and just destroy him. Yes, that's the only reason he's on this list because I really want to kill this fucking thing jump on its back and stab it multiple times. That's the only reason I, I want him on this list, because I, I, I just want to kill him, I really do. He's a piece of shit, and I, I just want him to burn. Yeah, I'm still salty about this character. So that's my list for the five monsters that I want to see in Monsters of the World. If you guys have a list, leave know, let me know in the comments down below. And if you enjoyed this video, hit the like button, share, post the comments down below. And if you didn't like it, just like this video, it's fine. I really do want to know if you guys want to see more videos like this, so disliking the video helps, or liking the video helps. And if you want to see more Monster Hunter stuff, subscribe to Trying. Yeah, yeah, subscribe to Red Trying Game for more. I've been trying to do this take forever, so I'm keeping this take. Anyway, see you guys in the next video. Bye!